float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Oh, rumble, young man, rumble. Y'all want to lose y'all money? Then you bet it on Sonny. He know I'm great. He will fall in eight. Come on, you big ugly bear. I'll whoop you right now. <laughs> pretty face for a lady's face, but you ever seen anything as pretty as me? Who wouldn't want to be with me? What, you five foot three or something like that? Now, that's a little too small for me, but I'm going to go ahead and make an exception. Oh, well, thank you. Because of your spirit. My spirit? Yeah, girl, you too much fun. Country. Just all ladies, all the women so pretty. All of them, long, long hair. They had hair come all the way down to the back of their knees. They're just all of them, all of them about Veronica's complexion. Every single one of them, bad, man. Hey, but ain't nothing like the sisters. Ain't nothing like the sisters. You know, so I went down there, I did everything I was supposed to do, and I flunked a draft board test. Then, without testing me again to see if I'm any wiser or worser, they decide I can go in the Army. Cassius and my... My name ain't Cassius Clay, I am Muhammad Ali. Yeah, I know where Vietnam is. It's on TV. <laughs> Southeast Asia. But it's there too? What I think about who? Viet Cong. Man, I ain't got no quarrel with them Viet Cong. I ain't draft dodging, I ain't burning no flag, and I ain't running to Canada. I'm staying right here. You want to send me to jail? Fine, you go right ahead. I've been in jail for 400 years. I could be there for four or five more. But I ain't going no 10,000 miles to help murder and kill other poor people. If I want to die, I'll die right here, right now, fighting you. If I want to die, you my enemy, not no Chinese, no Viet Cong, no Japanese. You my poser when I want freedom. You my poser when I want justice. You my poser when I want equality. Want me to go somewhere and fight for you? You won't even stand up for me right here in America, for my rights and my religious beliefs. You won't even stand up for me right here at home. Now what you call me? I called you Clay. You will announce it from right here, from flat on your back. What's my name? What's my name? What's my name? Hey, what's my name? You don't say my name. You don't say my name. I'm gonna call you Clay. I want you all to tell all my aunts and all my uncles and cousins and friends, get to your television set, get to your radio, because I have never wanted to whoop a man so bad. It's Muhammad Ali. Everybody knows that I am the champ. The crown is a lie. I know it's a lie. Joe Frazier knows it's a lie. And it's time for everybody to stop lying Let's and tell, tell the truth. Let's tell it like it is. Will you agree?
court and boxing problems, Muhammad. Can you get a fight promoted? I would fight Joe Frazier for free in a phone booth in the middle of Times Square if it wasn't broke. I still Muhammad, will. Thank you for calling in. I'll relay that to Joe. And tell Joe I said he is very ugly. To it, man. I done told you I'm through fighting. I got a much bigger contender, a much heavier opponent. I'm fighting the entire U.S. government. Do you think you're going to jail? I don't know. I don't know. Joe Frazier told me on this show that he could knock you out. See, there you go agitating. You should have asked Smoking Joe, what have he been smoking? That boy even dreamed he whooped me. He better wake up and apologize. But if I ever was to get in the ring with Joe, here's what you might see. Ali comes out to meet Frazier, but Frazier starts to retreat. If Joe goes back an inch farther, he'll wind up in a ringside seat. Ali swings with his left. Ali swings with his right. Just look at the kid carry the fight. Frazier keeps backing, but there's not enough room. It's only a matter of time before Ali lowers the boom. Ali swings with his right. What a beautiful swing. But the punch lifts Frazier clean out of the ring. Frazier's still rising, and the referee wears a frown, because he can't start counting till Frazier comes down. Frazier's disappeared from view. The crowd is getting frantic, but our radar station's done picked him up. He's somewhere over the Atlantic. Now, who would have thought when they came to the fight, they was going to witness the launching of a black satellite? But don't wait for that fight. It ain't never going to happen. Only thing you could do is wonder and imagine.